What's up guys? So I'm out here in the Little Cottonwood Canyon today, hiking in this trail. I've actually never hiked this trail before. I come here all the time to take pictures and stuff, especially this time of year. Check out these colors. I'll show you the drone footage I got. Okay, so I, I have a lot of thoughts. I've been trying to just like decrease the amount of input into my life, okay? And what I mean is being on Instagram less, being on social media less in general, watching less YouTube, just decreasing the amount of input into my brain so that it doesn't get all cluttered with input. That way I can focus on myself and who I am as a person and also as a creator and what I want to contribute to the world in that way. I've been thinking a lot about like who I was as a kid, which is helpful, it's been helping a lot actually. Because that was like the raw, real me, and I wanna get back to that. Couple things, I have this friend named Natalie, and uh, she's very liberal, kind of a hippie. <laughs> she's been talking to me about this thing called earthing, and what that is is uh, like you take off your shoes and your socks, and you stick your feet in the earth, like the grass or the dirt or somewhere, and you just kind of connect yourself to the earth. And it's supposed to recenter you, rebalance you. And so I did it once, but I also think that you can just get out here into nature, feel the breeze on your face, feel the sunshine on your skin, and that's, you know, a little bit of the same thing. So I'm out here in the little Cottonwood Canyon today so I can think, so I can earth. <laughs> I feel so weird saying that. And just like be here with my camera and just talk to it, it feels good. The other thing, is, and I know I said that I am trying to watch less YouTube, but there's this YouTuber named Cody Warner, and he was talking about how he's always felt like one of the girls. I'll show you the clip right here. I've always been, you know, in a sense, one of the girls. Like, I've always loved talking. I've always loved, I've always loved hanging out. I've always been very expressive. I've always been fairly empathetic. I've always been. There's this stigma of being a guy. You have to be provider you got to be strong you got to be masculine you got to be macho I can be that way to a point but I really connected with him when he said that being a little bit more sensitive being a little bit more in tune with my feelings a lot of you know that I'm a firefighter and it's mostly dudes at the firehouse and I get along there fine but I'm a lot different at the firehouse my personality kind of changes I don't talk as much I'm a lot more reserved and closed and so with all this reflection and thinking about who I am as a person as a creator how I'm more sensitive and in tune with my feelings and stuff I wanted to talk about one thing in particular and that is why is it so hard for me to feel sadness I avoid sadness I hate going to funerals I hate feeling sentimental and my least favorite of all the feelings that I'm capable of is nostalgia as human beings we're meant to feel sad, right? People always say, when you're sad, let yourself feel it. Let yourself feel sad. I have resisted that my entire life. Okay, so going back to my childhood <laughs> real quick, I had a really, really good childhood. Like one of the best childhoods that I think that you can have. I didn't have a lot of money or privilege or anything, except for like white privilege. <laughs> but I had good parents, good siblings, a good family, always playing like cops and robbers and, and cowboys and Indians and uh, we'd, I'd be outside all the time, imagining, creating, making videos with my siblings, I could go on and on. I had a good childhood, okay? Now that I'm an adult, like being an adult's hard. It, there's a lot of responsibility, you kind of long to be a kid again. I'm not gonna ever be a kid again, is what I mean. So when I go back home to Oregon and I, my family lives in a small town, and I go to my grandparents' house specifically, my grandpa passed away recently, like within the last few couple of years, and so I think about him, I think about my time there as a kid, and I miss it. I get really nostalgic for it, and I get sad. When I feel that, and I let myself feel it, I get extremely, like, depressed. My coping mechanism is to push it away, because I don't want to feel that. So I always need to keep my mind forward thinking. I need to keep it on the future, keep it busy. So I do that by living in a city. If I go live in a small town where there's not much to do, and it's slow, and it's quiet, my mind starts to think about the past. I get bored, I get comfortable, and I think about the past. And I get nostalgic, and I get sad and depressed. And then I, I can't handle it. 
<laughs> so I live in a city, I keep my mind busy, I'm always active, forward thinking, so I don't have to ever think about the past. And again, not that it was bad, it was, it was great, and that's the point. The past was so great that I get discouraged about the future, because like, how could anything top my childhood and my past? So instead of having that mentality, I just think forward and have goals, I set my mind on the future and what I want to achieve, and I go towards that excited. So my question for you is, is that good? Or what advice do you have for me? Because I wanna be able to think about my past and let myself feel the nostalgia, let myself enjoy those feelings of happiness and fond memories without getting discouraged about my future. And I've never been able to do that. And I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it has anything to do with me as a creator or earthing. <laughs> Maybe this is just a bunch of random thoughts that sort of intertwine somehow. I really don't know. But I thought that I would share that with you and if you have some advice, please help. <laughs>